President Joe Biden encouraging Taiwan's independence and China threatens the US with military conflict. I am Sebi Kazmi and you are watching Conflict Times. Taiwan, a small island located just east from the mainland of China. An island small in size, but one that is causing a big tension for the two world's largest fighting forces, the US and China. Today, I want to talk about the following topics in the following order. The history between China and Taiwan, Taiwan and the Taiwan Strait, the conflict situation between United States of America and China over the tiny island of Taiwan, the history between China and Taiwan. Taiwan was ruled by China's Qing dynasty for over 200 years from 1683 to 1895. Then in 1895, Japan won the first Sino-Japanese war and the Qing government had to cede Taiwan to Japan. Japan then ruled for 50 years. And after World War II, Japan surrendered and relinquished controls to territory and it had taken from China. The Republic of China and one of the victory in the war begins by ruling Taiwan with the consistence of its allies, the US and UK. In 1949, there was a Chinese civil war and Chiang and the remnant of his government fled to Taiwan when the war ended. Beijing has consistently maintained that Taiwan is a province of China and that its unification with the mainland is inevitable. It is non-negotiable, especially under the One China policy. It's a One China policy. Washington officially recognized Beijing rather than Taipei, Taiwan. The two parts split and were known as PRC, the People's Republic of China, and ROC, the Republic of China. PRC, which is the People's Republic of China, is led by President Xi Jinping, who took power in 2013. He's likely to be the president for many years to come, as in 2018, he abolished presidential term limits. So he will be the president for a further five years. China claims democratically, like governed Taiwan as its own sacred territory. They believe it's a breakaway province and says it will take the territory by force if necessary. Taiwan, on the other hand, thinks of itself as a sovereign state. Taiwan's female president, Tsai Lang Wen, was elected in 2016. And since she came into the power, the relationship between the two has soured. Taiwan and the Taiwan Strait. The small island of Taiwan is currently home to 23 million Taiwanese people. It is not officially a country, and today it is known as ROC, like Republic of China. It governs itself and it has no political status, which is a real problem. There is a huge push from the United States for it to break away from China and be independent, but China wants Taiwan to eventually be part of the country again. There is a 180 kilometer wide strait separating the island of Taiwan and mainland China called the Taiwan Strait. And in some part, it's only 160 kilometers wide. This narrow passage of water has caused a major conflict between the US and China. Warships traveling through the Taiwan Straits have been sighted in the disputed water, which is major security risk for China. The strait is close to China's mainland, and in the last few years, warships from US, Canada, and the UK have sailed through and angering China. The conflict situation between US and China over the island of Taiwan. On Friday, China's ambassador to the US, um, Kim Gang, he told a US media outlet that China and United States will likely be locked in a military conflict if Taiwan continues to pursue independence. Kim said that Taiwan's issue is the biggest tinderbox between China and the United States. The U.S. has been uh, encouraging Taiwan to be an independent state and has been stirring things up. The threat of the war is the highest. It has been in the last 25 years. 
Experts have said that the US and China are almost on the brink of military conflicts over Taiwan, which could end in a big, huge disaster. The president of China, Xi Jinping, told Joe Biden that any support for Taiwanese independence from the US would be like playing with fire. And that those who play with fire will get burned. They are very simple words, but a lot of threat. The US does not follow the one China's policy and will do what it can to keep Taiwan from the mainland. The US has increased tension by agreeing an arm deals worth $1.8 billion back in 2020, and which was approved as well. Now, items sold to Taiwan, including rocket launchers, sensors, and artillery. The US has been providing Taiwan with these weapons and training, and Taiwan has their full backing, of course. Now, what will happen next in the Taiwan Strait and the South China Sea is uncertain. But if China is provoked by US, then it could lead to all-out war, and that will be a huge disaster for the world's space. My name is Sebi Kazmi, and you're watching Conflict Times. Stay tuned, like, share, and subscribe my channel. See you. Goodbye.